Hey everyone, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more FC24 here today on the channel. We're back with season two of my Real Madrid career mode here today. We're going to be doing the entirety of season two in one video. So if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video like and subscribe if you're new. I'd really much appreciate it. All righty. So we're coming off a Champions League win. We've got 400 million pounds in the bank. Well, euros. Now, unfortunately, a couple of players won't sign some contracts. We're going to try and re-sign them, but we'll see how we go. So, we won last year's Champions League final against PSG, Harry St. Germain. We unfortunately lost the league title race against Barcelona. We did win the Supercopa, and unfortunately, we got knocked out of the Copa del Rey. So, this time, we want to try and go back-to-back. -back. I'd love to win a second... Champions League but if not at least make the final and in this second season we want to try and win La Liga and maybe even try and nab a Copa del Rey trying to win as many trophies as we can alrighty so I would like to sign Kylian Mbappe but same with last year I think it's because we're on strict transfers we can't seem to sign him but we can go for Erling Haaland so we're negotiating with Manchester City a team we knocked out in the semis last year. And for 260 million euros, Erling Haaland will be our main striker up top. After signing Gabriel Jesus last season as a stopgap. I would have loved Mbappe, but unfortunately, PSG wouldn't sell him to us. We're going to go out and try and sign Gabriel as Rudiger is now aging we're gonna bring in the Brazilian centre-back who joined Bayern Munich from Arsenal signing another former Bayern player so here are the two signings for this season Erling is gonna have number nine gonna be leading the line for us and Gabriel joining the defense so here is the team 4-3-3 Gagan press of course Rodrigo Vinicius Bellingham, Valverde, Chuameni, Hakimi joining last year, Alaba at left back, Militao and Courtois in goal. We're not going to make the Kepa loan signing a permanent deal. Gabriel Jesus, 28 goals last season, is going to be heavily rotating with Holland, but we'll be playing a lot this season. But uh, here is the team. Pretty good in my opinion. Super, super happy with it. And then we might look for a left back and try and bring Mbappe next season. We'll see. Tony Cruz looks like he's going to be going because he won't sign a new contract. Same with Nacho Fernandez as well. We're receiving a couple of offers here for Camavinga, but he is quite a valuable utility player. I have no ambition selling a player like him we've got the friendly and pre-season tournament now coming up and it looks like a couple of those deals unfortunately fell right through in the UEFA Super Cup we've got a match against Bayer Leverkusen who beat Liverpool in last year's Europa League so here we go first opportunity this season to win a piece of silverware our first UEFA Super Cup under my managerial reign. Four minutes in, Correa goes forward, the former Atletico Madrid striker. And I believe he played for Inter at one point, I could be wrong. Makes it 1 0 early on. Playing with a stacked forward line. Bayer Leverkusen are just flooding players forward. And unfortunately, we really disappointingly give up a two-goal lead early on. 2-1 down. Real Madrid look to go forward. Bellingham gets up there and puts his name on the score sheet. It's 2-1. Plenty of football yet to be played. Chuameni joins the attack from midfield to Bellingham. It's 2-2. After being a little bit shocked by Bayer Leverkusen earlier in the fixture. 
They're playing a three at the back formation. Ball in from Carrera. And uh, Correa makes it 3-2. Disappointingly for the Galacticos boys. And unfortunately, we start off the first match of the season with a disappointing taste in our mouth as Bayer Leverkusen win the Europa League and then go on to win a pretty decent UEFA Super Cup. As we start our first match of the season against Barcelona, believe it or not. We've got El Clasico, first day up. Barcelona last year, we beat them once in the Super Cup of 4-2. We got smashed at the Camp Nou last year, and it was thanks to that man there. Rafinha scored a brilliant brace last year, and he looks like he could do it again this season. He starts off the scoring just before the ninth. Rafinha is a handful for us, unfortunately. Great goal from what could have been a great potential winger for us. The former Leeds man scores against an abundance of his Brazilian international counterparts. It's actually quite nice that we've got a huge... Brazilian contingent from Gabriel, Vinicius, Jesus, Rodrigo. We've got a lot of their national team. 1-1. One, one. Bellingham surges up the other end. The captain of this football club. After Carvajal gave over the captain's armband to him. Jude Bellingham, just outside the box, drills it. Playing an amazing attacking midfielder role. 1-1. One, one. Gabriel with a decent defensive display. Nice combo. Militao and Gabriel in the defense. Rodrigo goes forward. Goes all the way himself and scores. As we go 2-1 up. Valverde, corner kick now. I think it was Chuameni gets dropped there. Rodrigo now. Back to Bellingham. Madrid. Score an absolute screamer. Late in this El Clasico. Can we hold on? And make a title challenge. Rodrigo goes forward again. Big save, Erling Haaland, who's been incredibly quiet in this match. Haven't seen much of him. It's been one-way Brazilian traffic as Rodrigo makes it 4-1. And on the first match of the season, we have had an emphatic 4-1 lead. And we'll, we'll, which uh, looks soon to be a certain victory. Barca go forward. Robert Lewandowski works his Polish body into the box. He makes it 4-1. But there's just not going to be enough time. As Courtois unfortunately concedes another 4-2. We ultimately win this match. And hopefully we can have a successful league campaign. Alright, after 16 games played... We're going to skip forward ahead now. We set a top on 40 points. Barca, second. Atleti, third. Sevilla, fourth. Four draws, zero losses. We are undefeated. In the Champions League now, moving on. This year's group, we topped it over Roma and Lusk and Porto. We've made the round of 16. Alright, match against Atletico Madrid here today. We have the Madrid derby. Los Blancos is going to be facing Los Rojiblancos. Here we go. Madrid derby. Always a banger. Hopefully we can get a win. And bragging rights. 
Memphis Depay shockingly starts off the scoring. Holland, just before the 28th, puts his name on the score sheet. I've been a little bit unsure about Erling. Haven't seen too much of him. Hasn't been bagging goals left, right, and centre as much as I would have liked his bug there. 1 1, Griezmann. DePaul, Memphis, two of our former players combined. And unfortunately, Atleti go 2-1 up. Memphis, unapologetically, celebrating against his former side. Two goals to one. Rodrigo to Bellingham. He puts his name on the score sheet in this Madrid derby. An epic clash. 2-2. Valverde breaks away and scores in the snow down in Spain. She's chilly. 3-2 up. David Alaba puts an amazing ball to Valverde who scores single-handedly. Let's look at that. Two phenomenal goals in quick succession. It's 4-2. Atleti go forward. They get number three from Griezmann before the 67th. Madrid, can they get goal number five? Vinicius to Jesus, fresh off the bench. He scores after Erling Haaland falls off a bit. 5-3, that's how the match is ultimately going to end. So after 33 games played, we sit atop on 87. Barca in second. We look likely to win this year's La Liga title. Atleti in third. Sevilla in fourth. Lecce and Deportivo Alvarez. Look like they could be relegated. We won the Super Copa again. Another decent trophy. Osasuna won the Copa del Rey. Champions League wise, we're back in the semis, this time around against Manchester City again. We beat Sparta Prague 8 5 on aggregate. We also went and beat Roma 4 2. We smashed them already in the group stages. And it could be another PSG final again. Alright, so we're going to be going away to Manchester City this time around. Last year, of course, we beat them a whopping 5 0 on aggregate. Erling Haaland facing his former side. Alvarez up top for them. Bellingham, 13 minutes in, starts off the scoring. Madrid looking for goal number two as Vinicius Jr. finds Erling Haaland who unapologetically celebrates against his former side. Two goals to nil just before the 45th. Corner kick here now from Man City. Foden. Matthias Nunez. Bouncing ping pong ball. Frankie De Jong, the former Barcelona man. He steps up and scores for the citizens. 2-1 up. Still plenty of football to be played. Chua many. Second half now. Erling Haaland finds Rodrigo. And Madrid go 3-2 up away at the Etihad. Looking good. Madrid cruising. Man City back on the football. Foden Sprays it to Nunez. The former Wolves man. De Bruyne. Foden. Alvarez scores. Unfortunately for me, Courtois capitulates at the back. 3-2. Just need to hold on now. Corner kick. Ball from Gabriel Jesus. And he scores a bicycle kick. Would you believe it? Against his former side. What a goal for Gabriel. Jesus. 
4-2. We beat Manchester City away emphatically by a 4-2 scoreline. In the second leg, we host them at the Bernabeu, holding on to a narrow 1-1 draw, which ultimately gives us the win 5-3 on aggregate. Thanks to Vinicius Jr. scoring in the 36th. So, after 37 games played, last match of the season, undefeated, we face Atletico Madrid on 99 points. We have an opportunity to break this season's Centurion record. Can we win the league on 100 points? Barca, mathematically not close enough. Here is the team as we get stuck into Atletico Madrid. Five at the back. They unfortunately lose possession as Erling Haaland starts off the scoring. Just before the 19th, the Norwegian international scores. 1-0 up, thanks to the Norwegian. Madrid looking for the second. Chuameni rises to the occasion. An unlikely goal scorer with his head from CDM. He makes it number two for Madrid. Bellingham to Erling. Haaland looking for his brace, and he gets it just before the 45th. On the final day of the season, before half time, Real Madrid lead three goals to nil. Good conversion rate. Vinicius goes at the other end. First shot blocked. Sneaks in the second shot. And the boys go a whopping 4-0 up. As they celebrate at the Wanda Metro Paletana. 4-0 up. Looking for number 5. Atletico have well and truly capitulated. And it's turning into a little bit of a goal fest. As we sit 5-4 in a good lead, we look certain to be celebrating, would you believe it, our first league campaign at our fiercest rival's home as Jude makes it 6-0. You can't sleep on Atletico Madrid. They're never down and out for the count. As Sionchu releases Barrios, Griezmann gets the shot on target. And Atletico Madrid have a corner kick just before the 79th. And it's a big top left save from Courtois. Look at that. 32, 33 years of age. Dropped for Kepa. Now back from his injury. Ball in, comes out. They go again. Chinoglu hits it. Griezmann puts his name on the score sheet. And we might have had a little injury there. Great goal from Griezmann, though. As we win this match, ultimately 6-1. Our first League Cup. Real Madrid are this year's League Winners as Jude Bellingham wins his first league title for Real Madrid in La Liga. Gotta love celebrating in front of Diego Simeone's Atletico Madrid. They're the boys. It means so much to us. 6 1 on the final day. Outstanding. Here are the stats. Vinicius was our top goal scorer with 26. Rodrigo with 24. Unfortunately, Erling wasn't even in the top 15. Jesus scoring 15 goals. And looking at the stats, Erling Haaland has had a really disappointing, really, really disappointing first season in the Liga. He's uh, 
scored hardly any for someone who's 93 rated. So, I don't know. There's a potential chance we could look to move him on next year. But regardless now, we've been drawn against Atletico Madrid in the Champions League final. Maybe they were thinking too far ahead. As we beat them on the final day 6-1, we have an opportunity here today to go back-to-back -to -back in the UEFA Champions League. We've got so much confidence going into this final. Unfortunately, Chouameni, in that Atletico Madrid match, when that player went down, it was actually him. So, we're going to bring in Camavinga, a solid replacement, and he could be out for a couple weeks, unfortunately. Player of the season has been announced, and it's someone from Madrid. Vinicius Junior with 26 goals this season. La Liga's top goal scorer is going to win his first EA Sports FC trophy. Well deserved from the Brazilian. Our first player of the season. Good stuff Vinicius. As we go into this Champions League final. All right, so he is now 94 rated. Chuameni's out for three weeks. 87 rated. Let's get stuck into Atletico Madrid. Throw in. Atleti. Go forward. Bentancor. Samu! Oh no! Unfortunately, we concede the first goal in this Champions League final. 1 0 down. Need a goal quick. Camavinga starts the match. Valverde to Bellingham. Jose Jimenez can't catch him. Jude Bellingham scores Madrid's first. It's 1 1 in this UEFA Champions League final. Hakimi works his body into the box. To Vinicius Jr., player of the season. Swings in a spectacular header. 2-1. Rodrigo, second half. Jesus, fresh off the bench, beats one. Valverde, Vinicius for number two. And he is well and truly our best player this season. And once again, we win and lift the trophy at the Wanda Metropolitana. Knock it down, it's cursed. Against Atletico Madrid. A league title and a Champions League. Phenomenal stuff. Three trophies over two seasons. And we're slowly but surely rebuilding, fixing, and creating a dynasty here at Madrid. Really good result. Jude Bellingham with number two. Down in Spain as well. Hostile environment. Red side of Madrid. Los Blancos with the win. 3-1. The Galacticos win another. There's the bus again. The streets lit up again. Here are the stats. Vinicius, 94. Erling, 93. He's actually submitted a transfer request, so we might look to have to move him on. He is not happy. Didn't have the uh, best season. I think he only scored like eight goals or so this year, which was quite bad. We've got some players expiring as well with their contracts. Jesus actually was more informed than him. So here are the stats, moving on now into Season 3, which is going to be coming out the exact same time tomorrow. So, unfortunately on that note, it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed Season 2 of this FC24 Real Madrid career mode. Stay tuned for Episode 3, coming out the exact same time tomorrow. Like and subscribe and comment, all that good YouTube stuff. 
for the algorithm. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. My name is Ben Simpsey and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much.